the comma rule number seven. Use commas to separate compound sentences joined by one of the coordinating conjunctions. Example, for, and, no, but, or, yet, and so, also known as fanboys. The comma should be placed before the coordinating word. So example, I want to go to the supermarket, but I wasn't feeling well. So here we have our coordinating with but and other sentence, we got there early and we got really good seats. So in our first sentence, our comma before that coordinating word but and our second sentence here we have our comma before that coordinating word or joining word and so let's read our sentences i wanted to go to the supermarket so we have a comma and we have a co coordinating word but i wasn't feeling well second sentence we got there early, our comma, then our coordinating word, and we got really good seats. So let's practice our first sentence. Mommy makes breakfast before school, but I don't have enough time to eat it. Should we start walking now, or should we wait longer for the bus? And three, Jim felt hungry while waiting for candy, so he went to the store to buy some snacks. So let's go back to sentence number one. Let's read again and let's find our coordinating word. Mommy makes breakfast before school, but, so here we have our but, so our first sentence, we have our comma after school before that coordinating word but i don't have enough time to eat it second sentence should we start walking now or so here we have or our coordinating word so a comma goes after now and before that coordinating word or so should we start walking now comma or should we wait longer for the bus? Sentence number three. Jim felt hungry while waiting for candy. So, so here we have so. So there's a comma after the name candy. And be but before the coordinating word so. So Jim felt hungry while waiting for candy. We have a comma. So, he went to the store to buy some snacks. 